Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I have to introduce myself for newcomers. I am born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm trying to make my own creative universe like how the late Stan Lee did, a creation known as Leviathan Universe. For those who have seen my footages before, I'm wearing these just because I don't want to be an interference with whatever temporary housemates playing some music as we speak. So I hope that's not an interference on your guys' behalf. Um, for this storyline, is going to be the very first character to ever defeat Madame Shear in a fight. A character known as Lady Jerion. And as if you could bear with me, I'm going to uh, read out this storyline for you. And I'll do all that I can to make it work on your guys' behalf. Sorry, um, Lady Jerion, number one, the beginning, created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 31st, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across the outer parks of New York City until we find ourselves observing Tyranitar while she is working on something in her temporary lab. With my scantily six team complete in production, I must have something to annihilate that Madame Shear. With these three captured assassins, I shall merge them into one single entity, a highly formidable organism. With the unconscious assassins on a metallic table, Tyranitar placed them into a specialized machine where electricity merged them into the outcome of three torsos and only one pair of legs, along with making a few amputations on them. To help with that, Tyranitar fused a flamethrower right arm for the right torso, a machine gun left arm for the left torso, and a pair of metallic bladed arms for the middle torso. As the creation was revealed to us, the right torso has uh, blue eyes, flowing blonde hair, and has a flirtatious personality. The left torso has green eyes, black hair, and a short bob, and has a stubborn personality and the middle torso has brown eyes, short red hair, and an utterly determined personality. They also possess a strong healing factor, high agility, and only the center torso can control the pair of legs. Tyranitar explained to it, You, my creation, shall forever be known as Lady Jerion. Your first mission is to eliminate the heroic Madame Shear, the founder and CEO of Blader Tech Industries. You shall find her within her home and work place, Blader Tech Tower, and you must finish her off. Mission accepted, they all said in unison. Meanwhile, in Blader Tech Tower, Madame Shear was working on some machinery until she felt that somebody is watching her. Eventually, Lady Jerion appeared from within the shadows. Who are you? She asked them. We are Lady Jerion, the center torso admitted to the irritated Shear. We have been created by Tyranitar to defeat you in a bloody showdown. By this night, we truly doubt you'd survive. And I honestly doubt that you could destroy someone as deadly and clever as me, she responded. Lady Jerion then answered back in determination, Prove it. And they begin the fight. Unfortunately, Madame Shear found that Lady Jerion was far more powerful than she first expected. After the fight... Lady Jerion defeated her and left her lying on the floor, gushing out blood, as her main computer system, Maya, started recovering her. Luckily, when Lady Jerion returned to Tyranitar, they found that she betrayed them by showing that she doesn't really care for them. Outraged of this, Jerion fought their creator and left her for dead. Nowadays, Lady Jerion decided to consider themselves more as anti-heroes rather than legitimate villains and they eventually became the founders of a new restaurant for humans, heroes, villains, and anti-heroes alike to visit and eat their desired foods, along with having a newly constructed counterpart for Maya, known as Maya 2, to be the main food creator to, and able to hire volunteers as additional employees. To avoid as many fights as possible, the restaurant was separated to two kinds of weeks, Heroes Week for only the heroes, and Villains Week for only the villains, while the anti-heroes can visit the prized restaurant as often as they personally desire. And to this day, the joint was known as the Triplets Barn Grill. 
the end. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the storyline, and just as a bonus, I have an illustration of Lady Geryon. I wasn't on point with the color of the eyes due to recollection, but this is the prototype illustration for Lady Geryon. As you can see, only the center torso could control the legs. Flirtatious, stubborn, and devoted and determined. You know what I'm saying? Hope you guys enjoyed the footage, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the storyline as well. I did all that I can to keep it efficient on your guys' behalf. So, until next time, I'm Leviathan. And until next time, hope you guys are willing to learn more about my creations and such. And until then, Ansign's Mission.